I'm sorry, it's been a long day. Yeah, well, a good story we got going on. It is, you know, I'm... They plugged in. I'm interested. Yeah. You go ahead. So back in Bethlehem, Mary and Joseph had no idea any of this was going to happen. All they knew was the innkeeper had this sudden change of heart. Now, let, let me guess. Let me guess. He gave them the best room in the place, right? The whole place, right? Um, no, not quite. Really? He actually felt bad for them, with Mary being pregnant and all, but he wasn't about to kick them to the curb. He decided he was going to put them in the barn. Are you kidding me? I mean, he couldn't have felt that bad. I mean, that's the best he could do was a barn, huh? Unfortunately, yes, that was the best he could do. Oh, help us. <laughs> well, so we're talking sleeping out in a barn with a bunch of farm animals. What? Son, I'm telling you, I would have had a cow. You would have. You would have had a cow, a mule, a couple of sheep, and probably a few squawking chickens. What a mess. I mean, really... What a mess. Well, yes and no. I mean, Mary, you know, when you're at that point where you're ready to have a baby, I mean, you, you got to do what you got to do. It was a warm place. It kept the elements off of them. And, you know, Mary had this promise in her heart that God had given her. She was going to bring forth a Savior. And, you know, despite all the adversaries, despite all the opposition, she was there. She was going to have this baby. And down deeper in her heart, she had this peace, this peace that passed all understanding. When you know, you just know good things are going to happen. I think the angels are back. Uh, 